that's what happens. And so it gets really discouraging. So a lot of people, I don't know if they think they're just coming to this camp. I don't know what's being said out there, but if they come here and they're just coming here to die, that's not helping. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a crisis, but the United Nations has mobilized. Uh, we've got reinforcement. People are going to be coming to help. We're just the first to arrive. Okay. Uh, so don't don't be discouraged. We're still uh, pulling this together and making progress. Uh, be so careful. It's a sick people. So they're, what they're doing is counting the people who are healthy and the people who are sick and trying to get some, some numbers. Um, so we were asking about people you want who us have, to help you do that? That would be helpful. It'll help us evaluate how much food and medicine we can bring in. Let me go through some of these lot. basic questions while we're all together in a circle. Mm -hmm. uh, that's more efficient than maybe we can think of things that you can do to help. Okay. You said uh, um, that things were getting more violent. Yes. What, what do you think are the major issues and the major type of crime that you're experiencing? Well, there's not enough to eat here, okay. so people are starting to fight for the food that there is. Yeah, food's the, here's the big thing. You're the security person? Yes. Uh, do you have an official role or are you no, just, I just taking charge? No, I took charge and I've been doing it for a year and it's getting worse and worse all the time. And what's so, your name? Can't you guys just go and give us some oral rehydration solution and some F75? We just need it like now. All this data collection, it doesn't help us. I, I'm going to make a request since you're from Gopherstan that, um, that you go to, one of you go to the hospital and uh, get the supplies, but I also would like you to see if there's any security that can be brought back to the camp. Isn't that your job, though? We're the, the, the front end of this, and we'll, we will definitely need lots of help. We're going to need some help for security, and maybe the military can help with that, or maybe you know of other resources, big brawny guys. Mm -hmm. All we have are sticks and rocks. Sticks and rocks are a start, and the show of force is a start. So we've covered that part. I know you're worried, but we'll try and get help for the, the food, the safety of the security of the food. Um, we were going to ask about um, water. Uh, you sounded very confident that the water is secure. Well, so we have clean water back. Plenty of it? Seems like it so far. Okay. And people you're going to tell us the water is going to run out or two? No, I'm, not, okay. I'm asking okay. you for information. Uh, plenty of water. It sounds like clean water. People know the rules of sanitation. Yeah, we try, but the new groups coming in, are, it's just kind of a reckless bunch. You know? so it's every day you have to educate. Yeah. Okay. And then latrines. Can you tell me about latrines or the sand, where people go to relieve themselves? Come over that way. Do you know yeah. how many there are? I thought I saw one that way. Is anyone using that? Not really, yeah, in this yeah, way. But that way. That way, is, that's kind of a danger zone. That we don't go okay. too much that way, but people do come in from that way. So that would be a security. You know, maybe that's where the, maybe that's where the disease is coming and, from. Um, can you tell me about the latrines? Uh, what, what, what it's up past the water. I mean, there's always a line, because it, you know, because there's so many people. This camp's been here for a while, so do you have the, the VIP toilets? With the ventilation. What's that? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a constructed uh, latrine with ventilation so it doesn't smell well, so we, bad. We did, but it's just, it clean. gets overtaken and people are taking okay. the screens off of things and using them for other materials. It's just hard to keep track of what's, you we'll know. Do, we'll do our best. We'll write that down that that's an issue, that they're not as good as they should be. And that you're bleeding? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, I know the food security is an issue. How about the quality of the food? Or there's not enough of it, and you're, you're worried quality about Quality is it. bad. Yeah, people are getting sick. Is it food that people here are comfortable eating? Not. Would you no. eat eating the same thing every day? Not at all. Is it good enough? No, we want vitamins, no fruits, no anything. Okay. Um, again, we'll make note of that. Um, we want food that people are comfortable eating, enough food, and secure food. Do you know about how many calories mm -hmm. you're being rationed a day? Uh, no idea. I think too few. <laughs> you know, so many people are sharing food. It's, even when we distribute food, we don't know where it goes. I mean, we'll, we'll write, I'll write down not enough food for everyone. 
are just a blanket consideration. And we, you know, with all the pregnant women, we try and get them in first, but they're giving food to the rest of their kids and stuff. I, that's just not a good situation. What, what how, do you think? How is the food distributed? Well, do you eat your food? I'm feeling so sad. My baby was just one. I think he's dying. He has diarrhea and he's he hasn't had any food. And I, my husband is still at our farm in Badgeria to protect it. And I'm, I'm just so, I can't think straight anymore. I just feel like I need help fast. And so many things have happened, but I'm getting too, I'm worried I can't take care of my baby because I just, I'm so sad right now. I need, I need help. I can, I can see how sad you are, and this is a terrible situation. It's an emergency, so we'll have to bring resources in from all over. We'll do our best. How far are you guys over? We're, we're to this part, but I think I'm going to skip the mattresses and so forth. Um, so a, qu a quick question about shelter. Does everyone have a shelter over their head? Is anyone out in the open air? Or yes, the new yes. arrivals can't find shelter. And, and we were talking 50,000, an enormous camp at the beginning. What what proportion of the camp, the new arrivals, don't have uh, adequate shelter? Yeah. None of them come. Yeah. I mean, who brings New arrivals them? have nothing. Is it hundreds or thousands? Yeah. Tens of thousands. Yeah. Okay. And then um, some important questions that a number of you have mentioned, the diarrhea. Uh, is, is there a doctor on site or nurses? Yes, um, I'm represented and... The doctors here and I'm so worried about all this stuff. We are out of medication and I can't help the people. It's it's terrible. We were talking to a WHO person just a few minutes ago. Yes, yes, a I did. Partner of yours? Yes, it's partner of us. Do you have a, a supply line that you can get? No. No supply line, no anything. Well, we're just so remote. We send people off and it's a long time before they come back and they can get robbed down the road. I mean so again, that security for the supplies, whether it's food or medicine or shelter. What I can do, I only speak with people, but I can't help. I don't have anything. Um, we'll, we'll make that a priority, the medicines, the food, the security. I hope so. Um, it's insect is bad here, too. We need to have some repellents from insect. Uh, so as a community, um, where would you put your priorities? Which of those things that you mentioned? Food, uh, insects that... Uh, medication. Disease, medication. I'd say, as a doctor, I'd say that's way up there. But food, medication, shelter, safety, not just of the food, but of the people here. We need Which, all of those. It's so, so hard. How do, you, how do you separate? I mean, people are dying because they don't have enough to eat. It is hard. That would be a good place to start. It's hard, and this is a hard question I'm asking of all of you. As a group, as a as a refugee camp, um, where would you put the priorities? We one need of, food. One of you can speak we up need food I now. think I think food too, because so many people. I mean, the people that are already sick, we might lose them, but okay. let's keep people fed. And food for you, for you and your baby, would that food? But so many of us are here alone, and we can't take care of the people we need to take care of, and so it's we need we we need help. We're, we're, we're we just lack energy to think about what we can do. We need all kinds of help. It's a hard situation and you need all kinds of help. We have to pick one or two or three and focus on those. So the first thing we're doing is collecting information. We've been very helpful. We have some more medicine, medical questions. Um, so you're the health person. Mm -hmm. Do you have a clinic? Do you have exam tables and no. instruments? It's no exam hospital. tables, no anything. So, There is a shelter for the for the clinic, but everything is out of it. People come in and loot it at night, and you know. Uh, so, as a health person, can you tell me about how many cases of, of diarrhea that you're expecting that you, you've seen? More than hundred now. Okay. Any other um, severe illnesses? Um, I think it's it was some flu and. Um, um, some, uh, I really don't recognize this type of fever, uh, but people have a chills and fever and is, coughing, is maybe tuberculosis, who knows? So is malnutrition part of that there? Yes, too, yes. I mean, 
And how many do you see in the clinic a day? I would say you sometimes see 100 in a day. I think more than 100 in a day. So I'll, I'll write down a lot for that one. Um, you mentioned fevers. Anything that goes with the fevers? Yes, it's cough, sometimes with blood production, maybe it can be tuberculosis, and if tuberculosis spread in this population, it will be very... Do TB here? Oh, who knows? <laughs> this is something, when we get supplies back in, we can answer that question. We got TB here. I'm moving to a different place. I'm going to call you in. Uh, one reason we rely on health professionals for you uh, is to... Is to get good information, rely on good information. So at this point, we don't know what the fever is. Yes. Just a related question, does anyone get a bad headache or neck ache or seizures with that? Yes, we have some cases, too. Is that spreading or is that rare? Haven't we already established that we need food and we're malnourished? We don't have any, so people have all these other issues. Aren't they all related? They're all related, they're all important, but for now, we have to kind of pick and choose our priorities. So I've this heard happens food. every once in a while. We'll find well, another group sure. will come through here and it's ask the same damn yeah. thing. We're just we're just going to have to just wait it out. We're going to have to wrap it up here. Um, food and medicine and safety is what I heard. Is that agreed? Yes. The priorities. Oh, okay. Shelter. Yeah. I know you have no supplies, but I'm counting on you to be a health professional here. No, you've no, you've done. Good work of protecting the food, so that's important. I appreciate it. And I think if we do have symptoms of TB or other highly infectious diseases, it's important as a health professional that we keep those people separated in isolation. I understand that we need to keep people separated, but how it can do if it's open area and I don't have a special supplies? And new people coming in every day. Yes. <laughs> we can do what we can to organize it. We'll work together, but, you know. I'm, I'm hoping that you can ask the government officials that are here to help you and some of the big brawny guys in the camp to separate off a section of camp, even if there's no wall or no special clinic or tents. But we need a real help. We don't need to talk. We need a real help. Sorry. You've been helpful in getting the Thank basic you. information, and we have to go collect data from other, other sites. So thank you. When, when thank do you think you. you'll get back to us with what, what we need? It's still an evolving situation. It's a crisis. So. Yeah. United States, here we go. Yeah, where is Obama? United Nations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, purple development group. So oh, purple development.